What was the starting point for your work on this film and what do you hope the audience will take away watching it? I mean, the inspiration for the film is the documentary, the Gareth Malone documentary, Military Wives. Um, and then we, from there, started doing a lot more research and it's all true stories, really, based on the true lives of women on military bases. So it's just lots of research and then shaping it into pretty classic kind of rags to riches type movie. And what do you hope they're going to take away watching the audience, watching this film? I hope they all join choirs. That's all I want. Everyone yeah. wants to join. You a love choir? choir. <laughs> I do now. <laughs> um, I think really it's the music and the cast is what makes the film really work. Um, I think music just has a way that goes right in to your soul and into your emotions. Um, and I think that's, I didn't quite expect that in the theater when I saw the film for the first time and people were watching it and listening to that music because tend to really hit them emotionally and here they go now. <laughs> Kristen and Sharon are the heart of the story and their friendship and the trials and tribulations between the two of them is really the emotional spine of the film. So uh, they were a joy to work with, you know, they're always questioning the script, trying to make it true and real, um, but they had a real spark together. They're kind of chalk and cheese, but it really works on screen, I think. Guy and Robbie came back with this demo, sent it over to me, and I was just like, wow, that song's so good. And then we based it all on the letters, which is similar to Gareth Malone's documentary. We based all the lyrics on letters that women write to and from their husbands overseas. Um, and then once the lyrics came through, we kind of reverse engineered that and put that in the scene when they all talk about their letters. And, um, so it has a certain inner you know, truth to it, I think, it works really well. I mean, I love an underdog story, and this is one of those, I suppose. It's got lots of music in it, but it's just very cinematic. It felt to me like a no-brainer in terms of how it could work as a film with all that music and a lot of adversity, and then finally kind of redemption through the performance. It just felt like there's so many ingredients that should work as a movie, it would be fun to make. Yeah, I mean, I didn't go into it thinking that, but it does feel like it's been quite uh, taxing, especially in the UK. It's been a there hasn't been a lot of unity going on and really a choir, there's nothing more a statement of unity than a choir. So um, that's really the bigger message, forget whether there's a war going on or what's going on in the UK, but people just get together and do something together like singing, it's going to be good for the soul. To make sure it felt, for me in military wise, it's very important that it felt very, especially early on, very spontaneous and natural and under it didn't shouldn't feel rehearsed, you know, it had to feel very real. And they are pretty bad for the first half of the film, our choir. Um, so that was the main thing, to keep it real and record it all live on set and make sure that it just felt natural.